So now we're going to go into our second lesson of congruent triangles. And this time we're going to learn about angle sine angle and angle angle side, which are two other methods of proving triangles are congruent. So for the first one, angle sine angle, we know that two angles and the included side of one tri of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of another triangle. So for these ones, I know that this angle and this angle are congruent. I know this angle and this angle are congruent. And since I know that this side, which falls between these two angles, is congruent to this side, which falls between these two angles, I can say, therefore, triangle A is congruent to triangle B by angle side angle. We always want to give a reason as to why they're congruent. So angle angle side is the fourth one we're going to learn. So we know that two angles and the non-included the non included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of another triangle. So I know that this is congruent to this, this is congruent to this, and that this, ang this side, which does not fall between these two angles, because that would be angle side angle, and this side, which does not fall between these two angles, are congruent. Therefore, triangle A is congruent to triangle B by angle, angle, side. So now that we know two more ways to prove triangles are congruent, we're going to um, see what's going on with these triangles right here. So for the first one, I know that this angle is congruent to this angle this angle is congruent to this angle and this side is congruent to this side. Well to know if we're going to use angle side angle or angle angle side the thing that really matters is which sides are which sides are congruent. Since this side is included between these two angles and this side is also included between these two angles we know that we're going to use angle side angle because we have an angle and a side and an angle congruent to an angle a side and an angle so therefore we to call this A and this B triangle A is congruent to triangle B by angle side angle. Now we have this one. We know these two angles are congruent and this angle is congruent to this angle. Well, we don't know that any sides are congruent, but since this these two triangles share this side right here, we can say that it's congruent to itself. So we have an angle a non-included side and another angle congruent to an angle, a non-included side and another angle. So therefore, we'll call this C and this is D. Triangle C is congruent to triangle D by angle, angle, side. Now we have one more. So this triangle is congruent to this triangle. This angle is congruent to this angle. And they share this side. So since this side falls between the two congruent angles, we're going to use angle side angle. And we can say that triangle E is congruent to triangle F 
by angle side angle. So next lesson we're gonna learn about the last way to prove triangles are congruent. So make sure you check it out.